The last years of school can be a bit of a balancing act, and these kids know better than most. For years 11 and 12, Finlay Grant and his friends have chosen to split their time between Kingston High School and Hobart College. I find the mixing of the two really refreshing. Um, it gives me both, both worlds to be in. It was only four years ago the Southern School extended to include years 11 and 12. It was nice to have that connection with the school. Like I, uh, I was already familiar with the places and people um, and so it was a comfortable learning space. The government's decision to extend all public high schools to year 12 was part of a bigger plan to improve retention rates. Student interest has increased over time as we've been able to sort of overcome some of those cultural barriers that uh, students in high schools previously might have had about uh, moving on to years 11 and 12 in a separate institution. A decade ago, fewer than 80% of Tasmanian students went on to grade 11. Now it's more than 86%. Likewise, there's been a nearly 10% jump in students going on to year 12 from 67 to 77% but only 55% of Year 10 Tasmanian students will actually finish Year 12 and get an education certificate. Still, it's a big improvement on less than 40% 10 years ago. Although Tasmania's improved, and that's to be welcomed, we're still a long way behind the rest of the country. The union wants to see more detailed data. The minister is focused on looking at the whole package instead of actually looking at whether or not the extension schools have actually been successful. Kiana chose to go to Rosny College, which is dedicated to Year 11 and 12. The government has promised the extension of high schools won't impact facilities like this. A lot more independence from going to high school to college, more freedom, just, just grow into yourself, I guess. So for some, the colleges still have their pools. Lucy MacDonald, ABC News.